Hi, this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop and in this video I want to walk you through this PDF document I have the seven most effective website types for your business and how to know which one you need to build first to get the best results in record time. And what I'm going to do is show you some different examples of different website types and then you decide which one you need for your business. You might have a main website like I do here but there might be some other websites you also have for that same business. So let me just scroll through the document here and you can find this underneath the video so just look for the download link. So first off let's talk about the different types. Now a lot of people when they're building a website they want to collect leads. They want an opt-in lead generator site. Now that could be something that you have as on a sidebar of your website but I want to show you in this document and we'll go to some other web pages some different kind of lead generators. So to get this video in PDF you probably came to this page saw the PDF and you clicked to enter your name and email to opt in. So this is a lead generator site. Here's another one from Little Web Writing Hood and you can find that at littlewebwritinghood.com this is something I made a few years ago and this is a different style it has a video on the home page and the person can enter their name and email. This other one I have uh, was me spoofing as Julia Child and it's a different kind of opt-in page. So depending upon maybe you're doing different campaigns, different uh, product launches, you might have different offers, you can have different styles of opt-in pages. Or if you're just beginning you can have an opt-in on your right hand sidebar. Alright so that's an opt-in lead generator site. Let's go to the next one. A branding and authority site. So this is a site that is the face of your business and establish, establishes your brand, educates visitors about you and your expertise. So here's one of my students, Shannon Crossman, and you can see her site here. And she's got a free gift to sign up today. And it's a really beautiful, a great example of an authority website. And you can also have a blog website where the home page of your site are your blog posts. And scrolling down, you can see different uh, blog posts that I've done, and it's on my home page. So my site is my authority site, but I have the blog on the home page. You'll notice with Shannon, she has her blog on a different tab on her site. So there's different ways you can do it, but in this document you want to think about do you want to have a branding authority site where your brand is on the home page or your blog site where you've got your blog posts on the home page. If you don't want your blog posts on the home page you can have them on a tab on your site. Let's go next. Another kind of site you could have is a sales letter site. So this would be a place where people would come and it's typically a one page site where people might register for a program that you have. So here is an example of a sales letter site and notice that there's no sidebars and there are no menus at the top and you scroll down and you can see the content, the sales letter on this one I've got a video playing and scrolling down and this is talking about my website creation workshop training program. So that is a sales letter site. Now you could also have an e-commerce site. So let me click to the e-commerce site here. So this would be a site where you're selling products and you want to think of an e-commerce site kind of like a Amazon site. So I can click and look at these different products she has, click in and I get to the product page. 
select my size and click on Add to Cart. Here's another example of one of my other students. Uh, she sells uh, beading supplies, beading tools, beading supplies, beading classes. And you can click on here and then select the beading tools that you want. So this again is a store, it's an e-commerce site. Now if you're like me and you are maybe you're a coach or a consultant, you're not selling products, you're selling programs, on my programs tab on my site I am selling online but these are my different training programs I have I am not an e-commerce store so you want to keep in mind you can sell on your site but an e-commerce site is more like a store like an Amazon type store so when you're thinking about building your online business, just ask yourself, is my site going to be like a store or are you going to sell programs or you're consulting? In that case, you are selling online, but you're selling through a sales page, a sales letter site, not a store site. All right, let's move down. If you're selling information products, you will probably have a membership site. So for example, this is inside the members area of my training program, the Website Creation Workshop. So this is a special password protected area where all of my students get their own username and password and then they can click inside and they can get to the different uh, training uh, lessons, handouts, and uh, little mini videos, and this is all stored in my training area. So that is my membership site. Now, take it another step. You might want to build an affiliate tools site. So what is that? That's if you're going to have business partners promote your program and if they make a sale based on their recommendation of you, they will get a commission. So that is what an affiliate is. So you might build an affiliate tools area where your partners can come and get all the copy, images, marketing materials they need to promote your site. So those are the seven types of sites and it doesn't matter really what market you're in these are different types so you could be a coach a consultant a healer you can be any type of business any type of market these are the different kinds of sites that you would build and then at the bottom of this I have a little handy dandy checklist so you can go through this and think about what you need to create in what order feel free to print it out check things off circle scribble on it make notes and build step by step the different kinds of websites you need now if you're just getting started don't worry it took me a few years to get all these different websites up so you need to go in order of where you're at right now and this checklist should help you out this is Christina Hills from the Website Creation Workshop.